Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily calculate the district wise average rainfall using Google Earth Engine. So it's very important, suppose in your country, that the total some district or any kind of sub district. So now you want to calculate all of district boundary for a specific boundary what the average rainfall suppose in this case here you can say I create this type of chart and here you can see it show about that rainfall millimeter for year of 2023 so we calculated the is district average rainfall okay, we is district average rainfall we calculated for a specific time period so today's session i will try to explain about this code and how we can easily create this type of chart for average rainfall per district for any specific time period as well as how we can easily create this type of map so basically in this case i use here this bangladesh boundary and i including total 64 district in bangladesh so in 64 district in bangladesh i want to calculate the average rainfall every each district in year of 2023 so let's go ahead to explain all of details one by one. So first of all, this is my shape file. So in this shape file, it's including total 64 district in Bangladesh. So 64 district stored in the feature. If you check the attribute table, in this attribute table, mainly we find out the name to column. Okay. So under the name to column, it display all of district name. And further just simply import this district name and i simply display my this is my uh shape file of district boundary so here it including all of boundary we can easily find out all of boundary okay and for getting the precipitation data here i use the daily chart satellite imagery so if you check the subs this satellite imagery so this is the chart satellite imagery so this is the climate hazard center infrared in precipitation with expression data with 30 plus years that we can easily get from here and this data it's called the charts so basically find out the charts daily satellite data from here and if you check the band so basically here we find out the one band is the precipitation band okay and it provides the result millimeter per day because it's the daily data so from this charts satellite imagery we find out that every single day precipitation or rainfall data so now in this case i want to find out what the average precipitation what the average rainfall for each district in bangladesh so for that we simply import our study area uh, and for that we simply call the satellite data mainly chart satellite imagery and filter the time period so in this case i want to filter the time period for year of 2023 first january to december for one year and I create this image collection. If you check how much image is available for that, simply print the charts and further use at the size function. So now it computed how much images are available in your collection. So here you find out the total 364 because for one year we find out the image 364 because every single day we find out the data because this data set is the daily data set. Okay, so now further we simply calculate the average, mainly we calculated the average precipitation and then clip with our study area. And now further we simply visualize our map. So here we find out this type of map. So here you can see basically we find out that um, this type of blue color indicating about the high rainfall region and this type of red color is indicating about that low precipitation or low rainfall region so after calculating the average precipitation we find out this type of map so we can easily find out this type of place this type of place has the high precipitation or high rainfall for this type of place and this type of place we find out that low precipitation not much and for this type of place we find the high so after calculating this average precipitation or average rainfall for the whole country boundary of Bangladesh. So now I want to calculate for each district in Bangladesh what is the average rainfall. We need to calculate that. So 
So for export, we also export this satellite data, mainly precipitation data. So now calculate the average rainfall per district. Okay. So for that, I simply call the average rainfall and use the reduce regions function in this case. And I call my collection. Collection mainly ROI. So this ROI is stored total uh, 64 district and I calculated the average. And now we print this data so here you can see it show about the total 65 mainly 64 district it including from the feature if you check so you can easily find out all of data so you can see the properties from the properties we can easily get the data you can see this is the Bola district we find out the average is the 6.80 6 6.80 millimeter for the Bola so as well as all of other district if you check here you can see if you check it, suppose you can see the pre-score pre district, we find out the 4.60. So these things we can also uh, make as the CSV file. So just I simply call this CSV and then we also export the CSV file all of district, uh, average rainfall, as well as if you want, you can also make the time series chart. So in this case, we simply use that UI chart feature by uh, feature. And then we call the X property. X property mainly it's our column num, column name, column name mainly name two. Name two is stored all of district name and Y properties mainly mean value. And further we can easily create this type of chart. This type of chart we can easily create it. So now from where you can easily get about that select district is the high rainfall. We find out that uh, 11.232 millimeter in year of 2023. And this is the chart. So if you download the CSV file also from here. So this is the process to download the data average rainfall for per district in Bangladesh. Not only for that, if you want, you can also applicable for any study area. We also try. In the meantime, I also give you an announcement for upcoming online training program. So basically, our registration is open now. If you want, you can also join our live training program and learn the Google Earth engine from beginners to advanced level. And this class will be start from 13 December. And now our register is the open and first 10 register will get the 50% discount on this online training program. So basically we take the class only for the Friday and Saturday in a week, total seven days. And class duration mainly each day for four hours. Okay. And you can easily get all of information from this website. I already added all of the information in the video description. Simply check it. And if you want to enter to join this online training program, simply contact in this email as they'll also contact me this WhatsApp number and further book your seat. So this all of details you can easily find out from the video description. So simply check it and further join. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay happy, stay safe.